Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to the Dowdy Podcast. It is Thursday, January 5th. Welcome back to another freaking podcast, guys. Fun fact, it is the very first podcast of 2023. And it's going to be a good year. We are so freaking pumped. So we're actually filming this on real time. Thursday, the day you're watching yes. this, most like, likely. As soon as we're done filming this, Jake's going to go upload it right now for you guys. So super real time. This is happening today, right now. No lag. We're, we're not missing another week, ever. We're not. We're done apologizing video coming soon <laughs> <laughs> no 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 we actually have to keep a streak for this year we're not gonna miss a podcast and i think we want to or at least like yeah we want to take this podcast into a little bit of a different direction not a different direction but we really want to find like a niche in this podcast so let us know what you want us to talk about i don't know if it's like um because we're just all over the place so it's hard to stick to one thing but dude it, literally we're like a ramble podcast yeah we should, genuinely we should be called like called like jadley rambles that yeah, literally. Why didn't we do that? That would have been such a good podcast. Jadley Ramble. That's our merch. We're gonna do that for merch. Ramble. <laughs> um. Yeah. So we are gonna try to hopefully take it to a different place. If there's something you guys want us to talk about in particular, we will. And I really want to take it to like educational. Like I really want to teach them like everything that I know. I don't know much, but everything that I know, I want to teach you guys. If it's gonna help you be successful, then we're gonna teach you guys. If you it's know. Gonna, if it's gonna get you a twin turbo V8, then she'll teach you. Trust. <laughs> well, haven't you taught me yet? How to get a twin turbo V8. Mm -hmm. You have a twin turbo V8. <laughs> oh, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm not on the insurance. So. Um, which one? Oh, yeah. Jacob is not on the. Okay. we want You want to talk about that? Let's kickstart this off with the insurance. Okay. Yeah. Look at. Am I not just that trendy bitch? Look at this. Damn. Sheesh. No, no, no. Sheesh. Give me my water. So I've had water in here for like almost two days. And I haven't been able to finish it. It's one water bottle. That's two day old water, Natalie. Mm -hmm. That's nasty. How's that nasty? It's my, water bottle water. My water don't even last 30 seconds. I mean, <sighs> I know I need to drink more water this year. It is my freaking goal. And if it looks cute, like if water looks cute, I'll drink it. You know, <laughs> it's like inspiring. It's like the same thing with like, I could put water in this cup right here and I'll drink it because it looks cute. It looks aesthetic. You want the water to put a dress on or what? Yes, honestly. Some it Aritzia, just, Lulu. Yeah, it just makes it aesthetic. You know, it what makes it, me want to drink it. Put but, a, it's going to get a dog and you'll drink that too. Huh? No. The water. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, not a dog. I don't want to hear about dogs. Thea traumatized me at the beginning of this year. Anyways, you guys see this new hoodie right here that I'm wearing? It is not from shopnataliecuevas.com, but if you want to get your own. Yeah, it is. No, my merch isn't available anymore. That's why we're not plugging it no more. Oh, no way. <laughs> it was like a holiday merch, yeah. But when we come out on the next one, we're going to start plugging it. Like oh, so there's going to be a version two? Um, I don't know if I want to do merch once a year or twice a year, but if I do twice a year, then I'm going to do like summer merch and then winter merch. Oh, but I might fresh. just do December merch. I don't know. If you don't have crop tops, I don't want it. I am going to have crop tops and I'm going to have matching doggy hoodies. I just, oh, it's a vision. It's a vision. Anyways, I bought this new sweater. Like right now I posted it on Instagram. The softest, the freaking softest ever. It's the scuba ones from Lulu. Oh, it's soft from the inside. Not from the outside. Oh, like me. Yeah. I'm like soft, loving in the inside. And you're mean as fuck on the outside. <laughs> Hella fucking me. Anyways, kickstart. So insurance. Yeah, basically, I was able to get insurance on the uh, Mercedes. Finally, I got it yesterday officially. So I had the car for like five days without insurance. Dude, because. This is news to me. I have no idea what's going on. So. Oh, you're hearing the, the T? Okay, the so time. I literally, the day we got the fucking car, I even showed in the video where we go to get an insurance policy. Okay, long story short, you can't get just any type of insurance, right? But with a business vehicle, you have to get like a certain kind of insurance. Not everybody insures it. It's a whole fucking deal. Like, oh my God, it's a whole mess, right? So couldn't get insurance. And then I tried to get insurance with like farmers. Farmers. Um, bum, ba -dum, no, bum, they, bum, they, bum. They, they never reached back out to me. So... <laughs> Yeah, we didn't work. And then I was like, fuck, like, what do I do now? Anyways, regardless, we end up finding insurance with someone. Um, and then yesterday we, no, the day before yesterday, I called and I was like, you know, insurance for this. And she was like, yeah, but because Jacob Macias only has two years of driving experience, your insurance is kicking up $1,000 more. That literally, <laughs> oh my God, I was furious. You know what I told her though? Mm. The lady doing our insurance, I told her don't. Add me, like tell not not to add me, so I don't make it go the, uh, up a thousand dollars. That's so much money for insurance, bro. Uh, no, that's standard for a new car and a newbie ass driver. It's it's standard. Dude, the crazy you know world what? we live in. No, it's not because you could have avoided that. You totally could have, guys. Here is a PSA: If you guys are young right now, 
please go get your in, your driver's license. You don't need to drive. Like I had my license, but I didn't drive. But you need your license to be creating a record. So when you do get insurance, it doesn't charge you like that much. I've had my license with four years of driving experience already. That is like, that's why my insurance is so low already. I've had no accidents four years. Dude, perfect. I don't even need my parents and my insurance anymore. Damn. Please use this as freaking life experience right now you need to get your license you don't need to drive just get your license save up don't get starbucks for a month use that money get your license it'll help you in the future i promise you i'm sure you regret it dude i i dude i guess like the, like one of the biggest regrets in my life ever mm-hmm. i and wish people i wouldn't. don't get it till you get into that position and i'm like telling my fa- uh my my own like siblings like you don't have to be 18 to get your license. Oh, my God. Joel, if you're watching this, go get your damn. We've been telling Joel to get his license since we know, since I know him. My boy's trying to get a car without his license. I'm like, bro. And I tell him, I'm like, get your license, get your license. So if you're watching this, Joel, go get your license. And like, let this be your lesson right now. Jacob is driving my insurance $1,000 more per six months because he got his license till I came into his life. Please. I remember when I came to you, I was like, how do you not have your license? Because when I met you, you were what? Going to turn 18 without a license? I was like, <gasps> Remember the make it or break it scenario you put me in? If mm-hmm. I didn't pass my DMV, what was it? The I was going to break up with you. Dude, this is, I don't know if we told you or not, but like the day of my DMV written test, she told, told me the right before I took my test, not the day, the morning of, not actually the morning of you did. She's like, Jacob, if you don't pass this test, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to leave you for another another guy and handsomer than you. No, I didn't than say you. that. <laughs> I just said I was going to break up with you. Because listen, listen, the reason I told him that was because he wasn't studying for his test. He had like, okay, I was bugging him. I was like, you need to get your license. You need to get your license. Whenever I meet someone new, like, I feel like I'm always really pushy with certain things. Like, get your license. Do this. Like, things that, I, that I've been through that I'm like, it's going to help because in you're, the future. because you're like... 20 times more mature than the average man. I just want to help, you know? So whenever I meet anybody like that, I'm like, do this, do that, right? So with him, if I'm going to be in a relationship with you, I'm going to try to make you your best person possible because I'm going to spend my life with you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not dating just to be stupid. Like, I want to spend my life with you. So when I was with him, I was like, oh, like, I need to better this man. Like, that was my goal. I was like, I need to get him to where I'm at, like, up to speed so we can truly make this work. So I would bug him and bug him. Like, dude, you need to get your license. We were also long distance, so it didn't really help that he didn't have a fucking license, right? Yeah, I I needed that license, too. 100%. Like, you and you needed to know how to drive, right? That was this whole thing. So no, I was like, you it was need to for do my it. permit. It was for my permit. What are you talking about? Wasn't it? You didn't get a permit because oh, you were 17 bad. and a half. Oh, yeah, you're right. So I was like, you need to do it. Regardless, he ended up not studying at all. I would tell him, Jacob, you need to, because people always say it's common sense, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, don't listen to that. Half of it is common sense, but the other half is percentages. Example, like, what is the percentage of alcohol that you can have in your system if you get pulled over? I don't fucking know what it is anymore, like but back then it was like 0.008 or 0.08. It's 8 or 7. I don't know what it was. Not 8%. It's like 0.00 or <laughs> 0.0 whatever. So all these percentages, dude, you're not going to fucking know this if, out of common sense. Yeah. I promise you you're not going to know this. So that's why you need to study. And I'm not saying read the whole thick ass DMB book. You don't need to do that. But there is tests, which is what I told him because I read the freaking book. So there's tests online that duplicate, not replicate the DMB test, right? It's, it's an app you can download. It's I don't know literally it's the same, not the same order, but like the same it's amount the same of questions. questions. There's like 100,000 questions, but they put like 50,000 of them on that one. You get me? So it's going to be like, like a replicated test. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, half. Uh, yeah, no, dude, they're all on there. All of them, all the questions on these fake tests, they're on the actual test. There's also different modes. So you can see like which ones you got wrong, which ones you got right. And if you get them ro- uh, wrong all the time, then they're going to replay those answers. I mean, those questions more than, uh, than like the ones you get right. It's I, a good thing. Like I, I recommend doing that. I practiced the night before for like two hours and thankfully I passed. But I was pissed. I was so mad because I was like, you're fucking around with this super important test. Like, because if you didn't pass it back then, it was COVID. So in order to get an appointment at the DMV it was again. months. Oh, so it's like, dude, there's no room for errors. There's no room to be fucking around. So when he like wasn't studying, I was like, all right, don't study. But if you don't pass this test, I'm breaking up with you. Because it was kind of like I was frustrated, to be honest. Um, but it put the pressure I needed because he passed. Dude, that was crazy. I don't know how I did that under Are pressure. Are you thankful that I did that, though? No. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm very thankful that you did that. Yeah? I'm super, mm-hmm. Because it, like, got you to do it, yeah. right? Yeah. Sometimes you just got to put a little pressure. <laughs> I wasn't doing it to be mean. I just really wanted you to be, you know, at 
do the best you could possibly do. Yeah. But the earlier you get your license, like the cheaper it will be in the long run for your insurance mm-hmm. when you get a car. Yeah. My insurance is like, no, I'm not going to say dirt cheap, but it is pretty fucking cheap. Obviously, it's never going to It's never going to be cheap until you're in your 30, mid 30s, maybe. And not even if you're, if you're getting zero a new accidents. car, dude, if you're getting a new car, it, your insurance is just out the fucking yeah. roof all the time. But it does help that you have four years of insurance with no um, accidents. It just helps, you know? So, um, yeah, that's the lesson of the day. Go get your license. Trust me, it will help. And there's people who literally will flex about... This is this irritates me. When people will ir- like literally go on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, people my age, I am going to turn 20. And they'll be like, yeah, I still don't got my license. I drive with uh, La Licencia de Dios or whatever. <laughs> like, it, it was funny when we were 16, but it's not funny anymore. Like, how are you 20 and you don't have a license yet? You see, like that, I don't know. I think it's just like, for me, it's almost like, bro, you're literally about to be legal, like 21. And if you're able to get the license, I think everyone's able to get a license. Mm. Yeah. Even if you don't have papers, I think you can get, yeah, you can get a license if you don't have papers either. Oh, maybe then. What do I you mean, maybe? I have yeah, no idea about that. That's why. Yeah. If you don't have papers, you're allowed to get a license too. In California, I believe. Yeah. yeah in California. Mm. So there's no, I mean, the other issue would be that you don't have money for it. Which I, I guess yeah that that's a valid yeah issue. it's like how but much the is people it? I'm talking about have money it's like 170 dollars for like a couple of things and then there's more like it adds up and adds well, up. well after you're um 17 and a half you don't need the classes and the classes are the expensive thing so oh. I paid like 300 dollars for my classes but again if you are 17 and a half which is what you didn't have to pay for right you just paid for the mm-hmm. license which was what you paid I think it's 50 dollars for the permit but you didn't even take a permit how much did you pay I, it was like 170 for everything. I don't think about it. Oh, and then the plus the test, the written test. I think the written test huh? is like $70 or something. $60. Oh my God. I don't this remember was though. So, this was for like literally almost four years ago. This was too long. But it was. Two I don't, for me. I don't remember how much I paid. But I, that's not. like The people I'm talking about, dude, they can do it. It's just they don't want to do it. And that irritates me because like it's an issue when you crash and the other person doesn't have insurance or a license. It is. A pain in the fucking ass. Yeah, you just make their life so much more miserable. Mm-hmm. It's like you have the option to have these things and you don't because you think you're cool or whatever. That really irritates me. Like, I can't stand people like that because here's to my next fucking subject. So when I got in an accident, right, um, I got rear-ended. Do you remember? So when, we got re- when I got rear-ended last year... This girl that ended up taking off and I chased and then when she did stop because her car was about to flip and then said I wasn't running away even though we were like three lights down. Um, this same girl had my same insurance, which my insurance at the time was so shit. So they actually ended up giving me like a thousand five hundred to fix my car. And well, I never fucking fixed it because I never had a different car. So I couldn't like not have a car. Now that I got a second car, I took it to get an evaluation. They are quoting me. Two thousand nine hundred dollars to fix my blazer. What? Yeah, and now I'm fucked because the insurance doesn't want to pay me more. Like they're like, no, that's what the car is like. That's the damage. But it's fucking not. Like I don't, dude. They okay. The girl hit the tail light, right? So they need to replace the whole tail light. She hit three different bumpers, right? Because they're you know the creases, like mm-hmm. the different bumpers. Okay, three different fucking bumpers. And because it's three different bumpers, I think two of them have to get replaced, and then the other one they need to detach it. But in order to detach that one it's the trunk so they have to take the whole thing oh, off shoot. so it's a lot of labor yeah and then they gotta like the one that they have to fix they have to buff and paint and patch and all this bullshit so it's a lot a lot of work maybe you know obviously the repair shop is also a piece of shit that charges a lot of money but at the same time it is a lot of work mm-hmm. because he hits so many different areas also the which door is it uh, driver's side but the back seat it's a little bit unaligned because this girl hit me in the fucking sweet spot. So I, they have to fix that door. So it's like a whole lot of fucking work. And yeah, I wish you would have recorded that like incident. I wanted to see who who the driver was and like how that. It was happened. a lady that was like, I'm just not gonna say. <laughs> she shouldn't have been driving though, dude. From what I heard, you said that she pulled out and she just like tried to make the left left turning mm-hmm. lane right, and you're in the right turning lane. And she just hits you and then Dude, goes she was coming lane. full fucking speed. This bitch broke my neck because we were stopped already. <laughs> How did, wait, so you're in the car. How did it happen? You get hit. Dude, I was just stopped and I saw the car coming really fast, but I didn't think much of it because I was like, oh, she's going to go around, which she tried it, but she fucking missed. So she like moved it, but the, she had an F-150. 
Oh, so that it was a, boy was wide. It was a big ass, tall, heavy truck. So when she tried to move it, full speed moved and then bam, hit me right in my. And then all I remember is like my neck, like <laughs> it hurts so bad. Thankfully, my mom was with me at the time. But whatever, because of this incident, right now, I have to try to figure out how I'm going to sue these fuckers so they can pay me because, dude, that's like $1,500 more that I have to pay. I didn't do anything, but because I waited so long, now it's harder to fight them. And the insurance company I had rebranded, so they don't even have the same name as before, which, thinking about it, I see fucking why. They probably had a bunch of, like, cases where they're not paying people. Regardless, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to fight. It, 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 honestly, it's not even about the money. Like, well, it is about the money. But it's more about, like, the moral. Like, I told you it didn't. It wasn't enough money. You said no. I'm proving to you that it's not enough money, and you're still saying no? Like, what if I had no money to pay that? Exactly. It's just wrong. It's so fucking wrong. But you are collecting my check every six months. And it's like $1,000 for your young ass age. It's not. I actually pay over $2,000 in insurance. That's crazy. Yeah. It's just so bad. Um, so imagine if I had no driving experience. Let that sink in. No driving experience. No money. Mm-hmm. No bitches. No. I'm just kidding. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the, that's the update with the blazer. So I don't know if I'm going to get it fixed. I'm just going to try to fight it. And if, like, they don't pay me, well, I'm still going to fucking fix it because I love my blazer so much, but um, I'm just annoyed. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm so 2023 annoyed. is off to a bad start for you. Not really. I'm happy, dude. <laughs> I am. You're, you're fucking annoying. Not right now. We're not, not talking about not that. Not right now. <laughs> Next podcast, y'all will find out. Why did you bring that up? I was happy. Now I'm not. <laughs> We're gonna talk about it. You next got a new podcast. phone. You got a new phone. You oh new yeah, phone. I got a new phone. Yeah, yeah be happy. and I'm happy. Like I, I feel like I'm like, like really happy. Mm-hmm. Like we ha- got the house. Oh, so we should talk about that. So we're getting new house updates. Oh, new house. Period. Oh yeah. So someone here is going house shopping. Yay! Are you excited? To- I am actually. You know what? I think I'd be more excited if the house was like, like, for me. But oh, it's not like more excitement. It's like more like I need to get a good deal. Yeah, it's, like, tedious. I'll get you. I know. Like, the first time I went... Dude, I've gone house shopping, like, three times already. So, like, now it's more, like, tedious because it's, like, I already know what's, like, waiting. I already know the the, the, the argument on prices, the... The escrow. Ugh. It'll pay off, though, right? Yeah, I hope. So, yes, I'm going house shopping again. So, this year, my goal is to get a house or maybe two. Um, just investment. Because last year, I invested my money elsewhere. Like, I did a bunch of different other stuff. Like, like a bunch of different other stuff. So, um, <laughs> like, I had... <laughs> like a fucking car. No, no, no. No, no. I'm talking about my investments. No, I know, I know. I invested my money in other things last year. I put it in three different investment portfolios. Um, like, real estate. Um, and Stock. then... Stocks and then some some other stuff that I'm just not gonna some some shit you don't see on the internet. So I invested my money on um other areas last year, but this year I want to focus on getting um a little bit more real estate. I think that's the plan. I want to get a house or two. And the cool thing is, so I want to get the houses because I have people for the houses. Oh, that's so cool. You're that'd be such a cool uh, like thing to do. Like you have a friend and then. You're in need of a house, and you're, like, supporting the friend. You buy what's, the house, and you're there. That's what's like, happening. You're, oh, you're going to be their uh, landlord? Mm-hmm. So, basically, let me explain a little bit. So, our dog trainer, she is, um, she's not able to get a house, right? So. You're doing it for her? Yeah, I'm doing it for her. <gasps> I love her. Yeah, so, I know me, too. I love her so much. So, she's not able to do it. So, because of some, not because she doesn't have money, but she just can't because of the legal shit about mm-hmm. it. So. Um, I'm going to get the house and then I'm going to rent it out to her, which is cool because now I know the renter and it's just so much easier and she can't do it. So you're helping someone out, but at the same time you're getting investment property. So it's just two birds in one stone. So for the other house, I also have another friend that cannot get a home. So she's going to be, um, you know, I'm potentially going to get her house. I want to get it towards the end of this year and then rent it out to her. It's just easier that way because with renters to hit or fucking miss. Yeah. Uh huh. Such we know we know this because where we live, we have a couple of renters, and you can tell they're like not taking care of their home. No, nah, they it's because it's shit not up. their home. Mm-hmm. They fuck shit up, so it's like, dude. The other day, I seen someone spraying out something out of the garage. Like, we don't have normal garages. Our garages are so like connected to each other. 
they were spraying water. Like, someone was in the pool. Like, they had a little pool, put it in there, <gasps> and they were spraying, like, having, like, a fight in there. And the garage was, like, a little open just so the water can go no out. No way. Yeah. Damn, those are definitely renters. 100%. See, just renters like, don't really give a shit. They're going to ruin their, um, what's it called, their garage, their epoxy, everything. Oh, Speaking about epoxy, <laughs> we can't talk shit. We're, our house is ruined. Yeah, we fucked up our epoxy, guys. Well, the the bands did, not me or not Jake. It's because the V eight. Yeah, so that car is so fucking strong. Like I cannot even. That's a whole different topic. I love my car. I feel like such a bad bitch when I'm driving it. I feel good. I feel amazing. However, here's the issue. <laughs> The car is so... Can you stop? Do you want me to make you a coffee? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really tired. Oh, like, you literally say this every podcast. It's literally 4 p.m. How are you tired? I don't know. So, our, the freaking car is so strong to the point where, like, it's just... I've never had a car like that. It's a monster. Like, literal monster. So, it's been raining, right? So, the tires get water, and then you put it in the garage, and it marinates all night on the tire, and then the water, and then the epoxy. And then I feel like it doesn't think it has traction, so it, like, and just grips. It could be that. I think it is that, to be honest, mm -hmm. that I feel like the car maybe, or it's just strong as fuck, because it takes off like that everywhere. Yeah. It just, it's so strong and so fast that the moment i let go of the the parking brake and i'm starting to slowly let go of the brake it just goes like it's so strong i've never 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 experienced something like that so after the water fucking marinates on the epoxy when the car takes off it like peels it up because it's so strong my blazer doesn't do that yeah it never did my truck never did that your blazer never did that that car is just so strong dude it's cool but at the same time it's like a lot of responsibility and i didn't realize how much responsibility it was you know because i'm not used to that like i'm just used to my blazer chill vibes but that car is like a monster i don't know how else to explain it other than a monster like to be honest i got a little traumatized so yeah tell them stop <laughs> Next podcast. <laughs> Next podcast will be good. Um, no, but the car genuinely did traumatize me a little bit. Like, driving it is so hard. Like, it's the hardest car to drive it's ever. It's because it's really sensitive, right? Like a little go-kart. Yeah, like, if you're not holding on with both hands, like, the car will go out of the... Literally, you're going to a ditch. Like, it's... And my blazers and like the... Like, not literally, because I was actually, testing... Actually... I was testing the theory. It follows the road. Like, I was like, all right, say I were to fall asleep. You can't fall asleep because you have to have both hands on it. Oh, you also can't have one hand on it. It tells you like beep, 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 two hands on the steering wheel, something like that. So you have to have two oh, hands yeah, on the steering wheel. Right. But it follows it the lane. Knows. It follows the lane. Like it's going the whole time. And I'm like, I'm not going to turn this one. And it's like a little loop and it's turning for me. I'm like, yeah, I thought I was in a that. Tesla. But, but, but I will say it does do that. But once you're in the lane, it's just like moving. Yeah, See what I'm trying to say? You. Like, it has no type of... I think it's just it's a sports car, so it's not supposed to have, like, that kind of control. But, oh, my gosh. It is a hard car to adjust to. But I will say, I got that nice car privilege. Like, people look at me with respect. Now you got... Did you did you do anything to it or no? What? No, no, no. Don't say anything no? yet. Okay. No, okay. Don't say anything. I've done one thing to it, but I don't want to talk about it yet. Sorry, I, that's why I don't want to expose it. Because that video is coming out. Actually, it's the podcast. It's fine. I got my windows tinted. Jeez. No more fishbowl. <laughs> yeah, dude. Everyone was looking at me because you know how everyone, obviously, everyone treats me with respect on the road now. Because, <laughs> dude, I don't know. It's so funny. But, like, before people would, like, break their necks and look at me. And so they would see me. And I'd be, like, with both hands on the steering wheel, like. <laughs> Hella close to the steering wheel. Like, I know. Like, dude, people definitely, like, what the fuck? Like, when they see me driving it, it's like a, like a, what's it? Like a. What with the hell, boy? Yeah, yeah, that. Literally that. So now with my windows tinted. It's limoed out all the way. I'll let y'all know when I get my first ticket. But it's, <laughs> right now, it's just limoed out so they can't see any anything inside, which is freaking dope. I will say, though, even with limo, you can see into the car a little bit because my light interior is so bright. So you can see, like, the shadow. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's it. Okay, uh -huh. then. But you can't see the figure. You no, you can't. No, but you, you can see the figure, not the shadow. Something like that. You get me, though. But, you know, in my blazer, it's not even limo and you can't even see in it. It's just the dark interior. Because it's black interior. It's just so yeah. dark. It makes a huge difference. I could never do black, I mean, uh, limo tints. Dude, I can't even see at night. I can't see with, either. With like zero tint on my front windshield. Yeah, I can't see either. That's why I don't drive it at night. But <laughs> I'll get used to it. And I think we are also... But, like, but what if I were to have to drive you at night? Yeah, we're both do. dying. Well, just take my blazer. Because my blazer has the camera, which is why my blazer is the best car in the world. It has the camera on top. So you could have... 
literally no windshield back there and it's just it's a camera so it's oh, oh i love my no blazer. windshield you're so dumb i love my blazer but yeah so it's been hard like adjusting to the mercedes it's so so difficult like you guys just have to drive like that's what i was telling jake i was like you just have to drive it to understand because nobody gets it till they drive the car like when my dad was test driving it he was like what the fuck because it's so difficult like my dad was breaking everybody's neck in the car like because it breaks like different it, i don't know how to explain it it's just different it doesn't break like your average car it's because because it's a like such a high motor like a very very powerful motor you have you have to like have uh powerful brakes as well so did if you, you don't see have, the brakes the, yeah, the brake discs are huge. They're huge. That's why it breaks my fucking neck. It but literally grabs on the wheels. It's like... Yeah, dude, it's so hard. Like, oh, I need to get used to it. But it's just giving me a headache because driving in it is so different. And I'm not... Like, I got humbled, you know? And I'm, I don't like being humbled. Like, I like... You know, I know how to drive. and like it that way. What do you like driving better? Your Blazer or your, your V8 Twin Turbo? My Blazer. No I way. I know, yeah. No way. So... I like the drive of my blazer better, but I like how I. It's this one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I like the how I feel in the Mercedes. Again, like people respect me on the road, like they move out of the way and shit. But was ain't I... nobody <laughs> moving out. I'm not moving out the way for that unless it's a Bugatti. Babe, you I'll don't get the way. it. People respect me on the road. They do. <laughs> they respect me because I'm a top G. They, they respect me. I'm tr I literally, I cannot freaking explain how awesome it is. But other than that, and also, like, when I park, like, at malls and shit, like, trust. I get stares. You do not park. You go valet. Look no, at I you. <laughs> Sometimes I do. And I get stares. But other than that, like, my blazer drives so much smoother and so much better. Other than that. That's so crazy. I can't believe that. Yeah. It's just, no one gets it till they drive it. Like, people are going to think I'm a crazy bitch, but... Just go to your Mercedes dealership and test drive a 63. A 63S, to be exact. They don't, let, they don't just let you drive test drive like an expensive car. Oh, they don't, huh? No. Okay, well, just imagine it. It's pretty <laughs> fucking bad. Um, but yeah, what, how, what were we talking about? The house? How yeah. I'm getting a new house? Uh -huh. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to go house shopping and figure it out. Um, and I'm excited. I feel like it's definitely where I want to invest this year. We'll figure out what we invest in next year. What are you planning on? Getting a three-bedroom or four-bedroom? I think a three bedroom, a three bed, two bath, something small, something humble. Um, but I just want space in the back because our um, the person we're getting it for they need the space in the back for the business and everything. And I'm so excited for you guys to um, for her to be able to have that because once she has that, she's gonna be able to start taking the boarding trains. And I'm Dude, so that excited would be so fire. because now Ellie and Thea will have like a designated because right now Ellie and Thea go to a boarding train um, where she works at. But I just like, like, honestly, I just like her. Like, she's amazing. She tr loves my dogs, treats my dogs with so much respect. And she trains them so fucking, like, Ellie is a machine. Like, she's so on point. good. Yeah. So, like, once she has that place, then I'm going to give you guys her info. That way you guys can go send your dogs to her board and train. Love her. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Literally, because Ellie and Thea are going to have, like, a place that they can, like, really go to now. Really? I'm so excited. I have a question. So in a little bit, Nat's going to be leaving. What is that thing that you're going to be leaving for? Oh, the rosca. The rosca? Is that the one with the little baby? I have, yes, it is the baby. Yeah, but, but I don't know what it means. Okay, so basically, if you get the little baby, don't you have to throw a party? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I've seen this TikTok, and he's like, I'm giving the rosca to my, to my ex. He's making it. But he grabs all the little plastic babies and throws them oh. on there, <laughs> and then he pulls it over. <laughs> so everybody's going to be having, like, a party everybody or something. Everybody gets a baby? That was a funny TikTok. We, who got the baby last year? I think it was I me. I think Nelly. No, I thought Nelly. Mm -hmm. Hey, but whoever got the baby, I ain't seen no party being thrown. I think they make tamales. Last year we made tamales, I think, to... Um, uh, to what? <laughs> Sorry, my dog's freaking on the bottom. Ellie, what are you doing? Y'all, fun fact, Ellie and Thea are such babies. They cry every single minute because they have to go outside to pee or anything. And I go take them out. But right now it's raining in our city, so I guess like flooded. When I take them out, they don't want to go poop or pee. They just want to go play with the water. So I'm, yeah. I came to a conclusion that they don't have to use the restroom. They have to go like play, play with the water. They want to go have fun. And well, she's like, about to go hit the ball right now, actually. <laughs> matter of fact. And it's not like I could just take him out for a walk because it's raining. I don't want to get her wet or me wet, especially because, like, oh now has gosh. white furniture and everything. Thank you for bringing that up. What so happened? I'm going to rip out my carpet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling her not to because I feel like in this house, there's been no time off where we just, like, all right, it's home. 
There's always what something. What are you talking about? It's home right now. It is not home right now. Yeah, the fuck it is. It's clean as fuck. Look at this. What are you talking about? I don't think it's home right now. My, my room is horrible. Yeah, your room. But the rest of... What oh, I, y'all heard that? That was that was a dog that wants to go play out the water. That, yeah, literally. She, I we, honestly just took her outside. What the fuck is she talking about? Let's take her. Let's take her to a pool, bro. Let her like get all that water. No, because out. then they get all sick. Ugh, I'm like, I'm excited for summer, but at the same time, I'm not because they get all sick. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna rip out the carpet. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're down, I don't care. Okay, here's my issue with Jacob. All right, it's about Jacob. So here's my issue. Actually, I hate carpet now that I think about it. Uh, yeah, we like, all hate carpet. Like, coming up our entryway, that's, like, the muddiest place you could ever see because the it's been raining the past couple weeks, and the, the the girls just, like, run up. They don't even they don't even wipe their they feet. They don't have no shoe rules. So, it's, like, this carpet is so fucked. Yeah. So, we're going to rip it out. And we're going to implement a no shoe rule. Well, bruh, the no shoe rule is when the carpet's here. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so, but no, 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 okay. First of all, we're not ripping out the whole carpet because that's so much money. We're going to start in pieces. So my plan is to rip out the top floor carpet and then put um, vinyl flooring on there. And then we're going to leave the carpet on the stairs for now. And then that'll be our second project is ripping out the stairs. But the only reason why I want to rip out the top is because our neighbor, she ripped hers out. Oh, it is beautiful. I haven't seen. You're going to fall in love. I have not love. seen, bro. You're going to be like, fuck. We need to do this. No way. I'm so jealous now. Yeah, it is so beautiful, you guys. Like, oh, uh, and you know what I'm pissed about? What? That the people, the builders of our fucking house had the option to do all flooring and they didn't give it to us. And that upsets me till this fucking day because that was just rude and it was just lazy vibes because people in this community got the upgrade because they asked about it. And yeah, I remember you asked about it, but they didn't and give it to like, us because backed up by COVID, it's gonna cost more money, like all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, but I didn't ask. I didn't ask how much it was gonna cost. I didn't ask what. I didn't ask for your excuses. I just wanted to know if it was a possibility because look at us now. Now we have to take all of our freaking furniture out, put the flooring, <gasps> no. put everything in. Yeah, it's like Please, a whole movie. Nah. Come on, leave the. This leave is the my issue. In. You're so lazy, babe. You're so, like, everything that I've done in this house, you've whined about, but you love it. Nah. No, yes, you have. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have. When I wanted to switch my couch, oh, why do you want to switch your couch? Bro, look at your couch now. Look at your couch now. Beautiful. Homie has a a white couch. So beautiful. Take off that blanket right there. So beautiful. Take off that blanket. What's under there? Some paws. Oh, my gosh. But look, move out the way so they can see. Look at how it just makes the house luxurious. I, you... Bro, ain't nobody Matter care fact, about luxurious. I care about luxurious. It looks beautiful. Another thing that I was like, we have to do. And he was like, oh, the pantry. He was bitching and whining and jumping Wait, up and this? down. And yes. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were because we had to take everything out. And you were bitching oh, about it. Oh, because it was from here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. we had to take out the pantry stuff. And I was like, babe, we have to do it. I just so, hate organizing. Like, if you look at my room, babe, you, you understand why. you hate everything that has to do with work. You hate cleaning. <laughs> okay. But you, no, I hate cleaning, but I'm the only one that does it. I wake up, I woke up this morning, I had a clean. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. You lay in bed. I'm actually going to fucking cry. (laughs) Okay, I I get that you're joking, but it's still like, oh, it makes me so mad because really, Jacob Macias? Really? I'm the only one that cleans. Really? You don't do shit. For the past two days, you've cleaned, and you were like, I've cleaned too much already. I'm going to go to sleep. No. That's what he said yesterday. I no, was like, babe, can no, no, you no, pick no. up? And he's like, I've cleaned so much already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did right. you just cut my <laughs> Turn my fucking mic on. This is my podcast, what baby. What the fuck? So, yeah, basically, Jacob was just honestly <laughs> being awesome, so, bro. so dumb. I hate how he always says that about, like, the whole cleaning situation because genuinely, I'm the only one that cleans around here. And it's fine, but that's don't go cap. on the podcast saying that you're going to do No, you that's clean. actually cap. I do clean. Especially that day you your friends came. The you're like, no, you're, the day your that friends came. That was the came, first day. No, that was not. That was the first day fucking day i could I pull left. up every instance no i left and i i was like babe can you please clean the house because i'm coming back with my friends her friends are coming and in he, like I, an I, hour and then we come back and the house is dirty no the yes, house is spotless yes. and i'm rapping because i the wanted house to film was so dirty i was i was so editing mad. i was editing videos for natalie trying to edit videos for my channel and i had to film the rest of the video to edit my video because jacob Macias leaves everything till last minute that's why no because natalie cuevas goes hanging out with her friends doesn't film doesn't edit and then <gasps> makes me edit for her stop mm-hmm. that was an exaggeration no nope. Put it on me. That was an exaggeration. If I put it on you. You're, I'm going to die right now. No. 
<laughs> don't say that. You no, you know what? It's fine. Look it, we both clean, but don't say that you're the only one that cleans around the house because you're not. You barely clean. Don't say that I've only cleaned once or twice. You have, baby. That day was the first no day you had way. cleaned the house. It was actually so like I don't know how to like say this. It felt like my. Oh, I thought you turned my fucking mic off. I was about to lose my shit. <laughs> um, it felt like so comforting, dude, that I came home and the house was clean and it wasn't done by me. Like, I had never seen it happen. Like, Jacob, because ne- he's always like, ugh, and he whines, so I'd rather not even ask. So I came home and he had done it, and he had done it right for the first time. Because like, usually he just grabs everything and then throws it in a pile in a corner and then pushes everything towards the back of the countertop and says, I cleaned the whole house. So this time he had done it right and he had done it, period. And I was like, oh, my, it felt so good, dude. I don't even know how to explain it. So after he had done that, I was like, oh, bet. So this man does know how to clean, bet as fuck. So now you're going to help me clean because before I would do it because I was like, I just need it done right. So I'm just going to do it. So after that time, I Sorry. did have him do it a few other times. And that's why he's like, oh, I would clean all the time. You want to know something that like ticks me off about you? What? Tell me. It's when I ask you to go get something upstairs or downstairs for me and you don't do it. But when I you, knew you were listen, say it was but that. when you ask me to go do something for you, it's like I have to do it. I am, I'm like I'm asking, can you do it or no? And then you're like, no. Okay, so I do it for you. Uh huh. But when it's my turn to ask you, you don't reciprocate the energy. Okay, you want to talk about why you're saying that? Because you haven't got because you don't go up and down for me. No, because okay, you're yesterday, not a true one. no, no, no. Because yesterday Jacob was at the garage. Can you stop cutting your mic? It's because it, look at it's not the way it. <laughs> you just you did that right now. I saw you push no, it down. I, I pushed it up. Oh, and it keeps falling? Yeah. Um, yesterday, Jacob was at the garage, and he locked himself out because Jacob Macias, till this day, does not have his I house I didn't lock myself out. You op- you literally opened the garage for me. <laughs> you locked, you closed it, locked the door, and then you went up. Okay. And then you went to go take a shit. Okay. And whenever it's me, I cut them. Oh, I cut them I short. A, babe, I cut them short, and I go down. No, no, listen, listen. I'm in the bathroom. Thea or whatever, whoever's crying at the door, uh, wanting to go outside to go pee. I, she texts me. She's not doing anything. You're probably, if anything, you're editing, but that's not more important than your daughter is having to pee. Mm-hmm. You tell me, Jacob, cut it short. Your daughters are crying. <laughs> you have to go pee. Or even if I'm in the shower, but she makes me cut why. it short. Tell him why. Why? Because he's, Jacob spends like two hours in the restroom. And while I'm doing no, no, other no. stuff. Most of this times I'm barely hopping in and I'm like, nah, I just got in. I can't cut oh it short. Oh my gosh. The other day, the day we were literally going to get our freaking, get the new car. Jacob was in the, okay. He turns on the shower head. So I was like, oh my gosh, yes, perfect. Like by the time I'm doing, Doing my makeup, Jacob's gonna be ready. I knock on the fucking door and Jacob's taking a shit. He had been taking a shit for about 30 minutes and so we were late. See, that's what it, like, whenever he's taking a shit, it's like a trigger. Like, I get so mad because I know he's been in there for an hour while I'm over here working. <laughs> so that's why I say you gotta cut it short. It's because it's so annoying how he wastes half his life in the restroom while I'm doing shit and so Thea's knocking on the fucking wind, uh, freaking bells. So you better come down and take her because I've just been cl- freaking working while you've been taking a shit. So that's my explanation. But you can't cut work for five minutes to take her out while I'm busy. You can't cut your shit? I'm in the bathroom. See, what's more important, work or the bathroom? Okay, then I can tell you the same thing. What's more important, work or the bathroom? I was working earlier, and you were in the bathroom, and you didn't go do the thing. I was cleaning our room. I was editing. No, 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 no. Guys, I literally spent like two hours cleaning our room just to get out like a shithole of Jacob's fucking (laughs) clothes on the ground. I had no idea that they were all mine. Yeah? Then where the fuck (laughs) were all your clothes at? Dude, Half his I don't fucking even know. closet was on the floor in our room. So I spent all morning cleaning everything, taking it to his room, just doing <laughs> everything, right? So don't sit here shaming me for not taking the dogs out because I do everything else. And those, it's fine, but don't sit here shaming those, me Those for were it. washed. I smelled them and I was like, wait, I didn't take them uh, off the night They before. were on the ground, Jacob. They were not washed. I smelled them and they smelled just like detergent. Sorry. Your ass does not smell like detergent. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop. No. <laughs> they were dirty. So I had put, again. So this is the reason why Jacob keeps right. cutting his fucking mic. This is, look at, look at, look at. You have to be professional. You have to be professional. Listen, I'm doing this. You don't focus on this. You just continue talking while I'm doing this. Okay, okay? but why are you doing this? Be a better podcast. Because please. you didn't do your research and you bought cheap ass fucking tripods from Amazon. These shits were $50 each. <laughs> I had to buy four of them. That was like $200 for podcast mics. Now I just have to spend... You didn't do your research. These bitches are so shit. The review said they were good, so... Nah, they're fucking ass. Don't buy them Don't on buy these Amazon. shits on Amazon, for real. Fucking trash. They just break all the time. Um. Oh, is that the one that I usually have? Yeah, yeah, I don't even know you which one. asshole. I, it's That's like the light. So there's one bad down. one. There's one bad one. 
And then there's one good one. This is the good one. Like, it just stays. This one, like, falls down. It's like... Damn, you guys... Are we hurting your ears? Sorry. If we're hurting your ears, no, lower your volume. I think both of us are, like, hurting their fucking ears. But yeah, this one, this one is, like, the lazy one, and that one's, like, the not lazy one. So this one just falls down during the mid-podcast. Yeah. Usually, usually, like, behind the camera, like... You can't see the angle, but right here we have something holding it. And you yeah. guys can't tell. Because of Jacob's cheap-ass fucking tripods. I didn't know they would be, like, lazy. Yeah, they're just, they're horrid. So, anyways, Jacob and me do 50-50. We'll leave it at that, yeah? Oh, my. Okay, it all depends right, let's what do it, it then. It you want to argue? Let's fucking do it then. It, all right, hold on. Let me get my argument mode on. All right, so, basically, Jacob, till this fucking day, we've lived at this house for about three months, and Jacob still does not have a key for his house, <laughs> all his fucking keychain. What so do I need a key for? the reason for? he got locked out was because Mans has keys without his fucking house key, so he wasn't able to get back inside. Is that my fault? No. I was being safe, and I locked it. Okay. I don't have a key because I have the app on my phone. Oh, and the garage door has an app? I'm never coming in through the garage oh, door. Well, you were. That was a one time. Well, you thing. were. See, though, that's why you need a fucking key. And even <laughs> yeah. if you have the fucking app, what if the Wi Fi goes out? How are you getting inside of your house? You need the key. Yeah, I got you there. Jacob does not have the key. So, do if you realize happens, that our front door doesn't activate on Wi Fi? It okay. just activates for, for let's batteries. Let's say the front door. The power dies. went out. The power went oh, out. Yes, let's say it dies. How are you getting inside your house? You don't have a key, so how are you getting in? Through the garage. How are you getting into the garage if you don't have a key and the garage needs a key too? Exactly. So, everybody go DM Jacob right now. Put your fucking key on your keychain, and this wouldn't have happened. So, Jacob's locked out, right? And I'm taking a shit. And he texts me. I'm locked out in the garage. Come down and open it. And I said, no, because <laughs> one, I, was I had just gotten to take a shit. And I don't take shits like Jacob. I take one like once a day or once every two days. It doesn't so matter. So the time that I that do does that. Not, oh, my. That does not matter, Nat. What are you talking about? Whether you take shits once a day, twice a day, it three does, times a day. It does, because I don't waste my time on the toilet. So when I go, it's actually You do waste it. your time on the toilet. No, You're, the fuck I you don't. You take 30-minute shits, too. You're, and I hear TikTok. Shitting. I hear TikTok playing the whole time. And I don't take thirty minute shits. Do you not. do. You no, do. The fuck. All right, I'm gonna, <gasps> I'm gonna. Next time you go to the bathroom, I'm gonna count like. Okay, one, please count and then two. post it on Instagram so they see. No, cause hell no, that's gonna be a stinky ass nah. fucking video. <laughs> <gasps> no, because you know that you won't be able to get it. So yeah, I basically said no, and Jacob got pissed. But you should have had a key, right? I have a key on mine. And it's a minion key. Matter of fact, I have a key on my freaking things. And I had took a shit, and I was like, as soon as I'm done taking a shit, I'll go back down. It's not like I take 30 fucking minutes. I was going to go back down. And then he's like, <gasps> remember this? That fucking Actually, yeah, no, you want to know the real, <laughs> that's not the real story. Oh Natalie, gosh. I called you. You're like, okay, I'll go down right now. <laughs> I'm in there for like three, four minutes, and she texted me, I'm not going down. You texted me, you're not going down. I and forgot that part of the story. <laughs> Yeah, because you try to make yourself look at the no, good that's guy. that's funny. I would have said that. Nah. I did. So, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Jacob called and I said, yes, I'll go. But when then you, I was like, no, know, I'm not going. You know, I had a feeling like right <laughs> when you said that, that you're going to come down right now. I was like, she's not going to come down. And I was just like, Ellie was waiting at the door. So you didn't let me down. You all, you also let like <gasps> Ellie down. She was like, no. Staring at the door for you like five minutes. You would have told me that would have gone. Oh. But if it was me, you wouldn't have. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, I do. That did happen. I was like, yeah, I'll go. Because I didn't want to argue on the phone, but I had just sat down to shit. Like, the shit was coming out. So I was like, fuck, no. So I just texted him. I'm not know, going. That exact same feeling is how I feel every time you well, get to Well, I don't feel bad for you back. because you take three shits a day for an hour each time. My bad. My freaking metabolism isn't <laughs> as slow as yours. No, it is so fucking annoying, you guys. It's like, we, especially when we're, like, in a rush. Or let me, let me tell you, better fucking yet. When we're late or we wake up late, right? Jacob's in bed, you know, 9 a.m., still asleep. And then he wakes up after I already screamed at him to get up, right? Because it's 9 a.m., get out of bed. And he's getting up. Uh, and nah, then nah, he nah. goes if to I the get restroom. Out, if I get out at 9 a.m., you're also getting out at 9 a.m. I don't just get out at 9 a.m. because you already got up okay, at 7 a.m. But or anything I like get that. up, Jacob, and I get straight to fucking work. You get up no, and you go you straight get to up, the toilet. You get up and you do your skincare, uh, get that's ready. Work. That's not work. Yeah, because I'm filming. You're not you're not all the yes, time. Yes, I do. Not all the time. Or uh -uh. TikTok. I literally did a TikTok this morning getting ready. So, yes, I get up and I work. You get up and you sit down on the toilet for on TikTok for like another 30 minutes. That upsets me because it's like, dude, if you wanted to take a shit, you should have woke up 30 minutes earlier and then sat on, you know, the toilet for 30 minutes <laughs> on TikTok. But instead, you stayed asleep till 9. Till 9. You know how late 9 is? That's like your day's gone. Might as well just fucking stay asleep. It's about to be bedtime. For so, real. and then you're gonna go to the toilet 
and then spend another 30 minutes there? <laughs> oh, that irritates me. Stuff it's like that gets me. I'm addicted me. to video games on my phone, like Clash Royale. Bro, honestly, oh, look at your brother texting me. Honestly, I don't care what you're addicted to. What did he if say? Wanna, <laughs> what did he text? He sent me a, 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 a gif. Oh, I thought he said hook me up with the girlfriend, but it said GIF. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that those are those are the, the big issues in this household. And they're just like, they're not like, me and you do never have issues of like girls or guys or, or any of that. Yeah. Not up to today, but we never have issues like that. It's always cleaning issues pick up your fucking underwear yep. or get out of the fucking restroom or you know those are the only Natalie issues Cuevas. We have. remember when i used to live in my apartment or when i used to live with you you take pictures and post them online about like the filth i lived in your restroom before today the hideous. one that i cleaned hideous the one that i cleaned because i know how to clean no be no you clean it for a reason i'm not <laughs> gonna say the reason hideous? yeah you want to talk about hideous yeah all right you guys go check instagram in about wait 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 it depends what hideous it yeah. is no i want to know your room hideous. You want to oh. talk about hideous? The room that we've been living at this house for you like want to talk about dri- you want to talk about driver experience, driving experience. You want to talk about driving experience? Uh huh. Guys, go check Instagram in about thirty no, minutes. No, stop. Okay, never mind. We're not checking Instagram in about thirty minutes. Jake, I'm not a blackmailer. Why are you blackmailing me right now? Not a blackmailer. Now but. I'm so sad. Man. It just shows that you, you love Delhi more than me, so, you know. <laughs> no, it just shows that. I have that to take an alternative route guys, to this We have argument. lived in this house for, like, three months, and Jacob has not set up his room. Like, how much? Dude, I have. There's a big-ass crate in the middle yes, of my room. Okay, when, I have limited space to put my clothes. When up, you can take it down. And then put it back up. Yes. I hurt my finger every time opening and closing. So you're opening, lazy. Closing. So you're lazy. No, I just. Would rather put her in your room that nobody uses, that nobody goes into. Which I'm going to redo. I've redone my room like you, three times. At, you're talking about I haven't. No, you have not. Yes, the fuck I have. Do you remember how my room was before? It was the white desk in the corner with the MacBooks and it was all pretty. Uh-huh. That you thought was aesthetic. Yeah. So that shit I re- was ugly. <laughs> you can't even walk in your room. It's just a bunch of fucking filth and calzones everywhere. So don't sit here talking to me about hey, that's anything. That's how you know she's mad because she's talking, uh, she speaks in, in Spanish. <laughs> calzones. Because I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> that Jacob, that's no, that's so not racist. <laughs> that's so fucking that's, that's you not hit my racist. Mic. That's, that's so not fucking racist. racist. No, that's it's not. so bad. Um, yeah, Jacob, literally, you can't even step in his room, so don't sit here and talk to me. So I've redone my fucking office like twice. I've redone my room. I've done everything in three months, and Jacob hasn't even set up his first setup in his room. So don't sit here talking to me about cleanliness. Matter of fact, actually, guys are coming on Tuesday because I decided to add a wall art. You're such a copycat. That was my idea first. So are I'm you kidding actually me? doing a room transformation in a couple days. No, a couple oh, weeks. Oh, you just reminded me of something. Here's here's some more. Here's some more tea on Jacob. So I remember I found this person that does wall art in the community that we live in, right? So I was like, oh my gosh, this shit is fucking awesome. So I messaged them, but like they were a little <laughs> bit like their price was a little too high for me. I think there was like three thousand five hundred to add like like little twelve wood pieces of wood. Yeah, it was honestly it was a little bit so. Like, a little bit of work for a lot of money. So, I was like, ah, maybe not. So, I showed Jacob, and I was like, babe, like, I want to do this, da 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 uh, Literally, like, a week later, he comes to me, and he's like, so, my dad's going to come over, and he's going to redo my whole room, and he's going to add this to my wall. Done. And it was the same shit I wanted to do to the living room, to his room. So, don't think you're saying that I copied I wanna you. I want to black it you out. You copied you, me. Yours is, like, the boho, Okay, but it's, bougie, still, the, it's still the wood. That girl... Starbucks <laughs> lightwood theme. Like, bro, ain't but nobody want to do that. I want to do that. Not me. That's Dude, so, honestly, that's I so th- like plain. I think that's plain. You know what's plain? Blood. Having, no, having three inches of fucking clothes on the freaking floor of your room. Okay. Don't talk to me about plain because you don't even have a room, period. And he was like, <laughs> he was like, I'm going to do this to my room. And it was like the same little like wood thing that I wanted to do on his wall. What happened to that? What happened to that? It's been, that's going to be what? Four months, babe? What, what happened to that? Yeah. Natalie Cuevas, mm-hmm. I don't have a spot to place my dad to sleep, bro. Your room is hideous. Oh, my gosh. No way you just brought that excuse. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Your parents have came to our house. Your friends have came like three times. People have came to our house. You're just lazy and you don't want to do it. Just admit it's it. It's because, honestly, I have to find like a timeline that's perfect because... If you're busy, then we can't do it because you're going to need me for something. Or if I'm busy, then I'm not going to be able to Look do it. Look at Jacob bringing another excuse. Because honest, that's going to be a four-day project. Three four-day projects. Uh, it's going to be... Dude, that's like a corporate timeline. 
that's not a Mexican timeline. You could just get that shit done in a day. What are you talking about? Not, not a day? Yeah, Jacob, I think, honestly, I think you so. You can get it done in a day. You know how much shit we've got nah, done in a day, me and Two my dad? days, two days. Yeah, two days the job wall, for the, the paint to dry. The paint has to dry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, two days. So That's I need bad. to know two days where you're not doing anything oh or you don't God. need me for Jacob anything Macias, and I'll, I'll do it. you're irritating me right now. It is not, like, dude, if you say you want to redo the house, your room, I am going to applaud. I'm going to be happy. I will help you. I will, you know how many times I've turned this house upside down with construction? I have ripped holes in every single one of our fucking cabinets to put lights underneath. I have ripped out a whole rest. You have not. Plumbing. You have not. No, you haven't. Your dad has. No, not you. I paid for it. So technically no, I did it. No, you know? no, 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 no. No, the point is that I've done everything. I flipped this house upside down already. You doing your room will make me so happy. It's like you became one of me now, you know? It's like, I feel more like, mm, how do I explain it? I feel more like understood. Like when we go through a <laughs> Starbucks drive through and then you get a drink, it's like the same feeling. Like, damn, like he's just as crazy as me, you know? Bro, Who's not everybody wants to drink Starbucks though. Dutch what are you Bros talking? Better. See, this is why we'll Dutch never Bros, have a good relationship. Dutch Bros is because better. you're not addicted to Starbucks. If we do not go bankrupt because of Starbucks, something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's people that are going to take this so serious. I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just waiting on it to happen. Ready, waiting on those edits. Ugh, it's a joke. It's literally a joke. We're just trying to entertain you guys. Um, but yeah, so are you going to redo it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redo it in a couple days, yeah. So here's my thing. I want him to do it so bad because I want to rip his door down. And I want to put um, a glass door because that's like the Just aesthetic. know I'm painting that white door black. That black Through glass Through the inside. Door. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll look better both, yeah. both ways. You're yeah, right. You can't do it through the outside. No, that'll fuck up the whole aesthetic. Yeah. You could do it through the inside, and then that'll be the black on your side. That'll you know? get you so mad, huh? That, I would I would take it down. I would do it And again. then I'd re-put it on. And the then I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, like, go with the theme of the house, you know? Jake, do you... So this is a thing that a lot of people ask me. It's like... So a lot of people are like, why are you the only one that makes the decisions for the house? da 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 da, da. Bro, it's because... I don't want to do something and not not like it, and I'm also not creative. I'm, like, the most uncreative person ever when it comes to, like, art decor. Bro, if you see my apartment, I had a couch, a TV, I had a bed in my room, and a desk for my gaming stuff. Literally. Yeah, so... I didn't decorate nothing. Like, if this house would look so ugly if I was decorating it. Who the heck... If I, if I put this camera and I angle it up a little bit, who the hell wants these beehive... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, who wants They're them? They're pretty. I like them. Yeah, they look nice, but I wouldn't pick that out of, like, a million other options. See, this is the issue, and this is why Jacob doesn't have a say of what we put in the house, all the right? The thing I like the most of, like, what you did to this house, though, is that, that chandelier right there. But it just never turns on, so it's like, what's the point? Uh, a chandelier that doesn't turn Because the light on. is ugly. The light, the light is light not is ugly. Blue. It's the whitest it could be. That's perfect. That's fucking ugly. So the hospital chandelier is just the color core. white. It is literally like a hospital. We're not turning that on. But the aesthetic of it is beautiful, so it's, you know, it's staying that way. On everything, dude, I, the things we have done to this house, I love them. And it's still a work in progress. But, like, whenever Jacob offers any type of, like, to begin with, whenever we go shopping for house stuff, he doesn't give his opinion. Like, he's just kind of like, eh. If you like, if you want. Uh, it's because if I, if I you tell you, like if I tell you no, if I tell you, sorry, sorry. If I'm hurting your ears, I'm so sorry. I'm like freaking super. Here, maybe we can um put my. Let's fix it. Give me that thing right there. But what? listen, whenever like, if I tell her no, she's still going to do it. <laughs> Regardless, no matter what. She could tell me like, it's the, it's bro, all the artwork on this freaking house, not art. It's not art at all. You go to Fiverr, ask a little five-year-old to do that shit and they'll send this, they'll, they'll send this shit back. Look at that, that. <laughs> Damn, look at your cheap ass tripod broke, bruh. No fucking way. Where's our little tripods? The little ones? Where'd those go? I have no idea. Damn, we're gonna have to cut this bitch. Here, let me turn your mic. You're like breaking their ears. You wanna fix it? While I talk shit. So, yeah, Jacob hates on all my art. He hates on pretty much everything in this house that I have. But I will say that every time I add something new, he doesn't even notice it. Like, dude, so there was that frame. I don't know if you can see it on Jacob's head on that side. On that side right there. So... That frame was actually on the entry of the stairs, but I was like, nah, that shit's ugly. Ripped it out. And then I decided to put different frames on that, and then I put it on that. All right, what the fuck is that behind me? That's like some, like, wannabe rainbow. Some guy got, like, a fork and and cement. A fork and cement. He went like this, Jacob, like this, see, like this. this he turned the, the canvas issue. around. Who, how much did you pay for that? Like, $70? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, you're gonna my. <laughs> 
fucking mic. Cut his fucking mic once again because you're just talking shit. I'm about to storm off this podcast for real. <laughs> <laughs> it looks nice. So um, we ended up hanging it on that wall, and then Jacob didn't even notice. I was like, babe, you didn't even What's notice. What's up with you and rainbows? Look at that. Yeah, those are cute, too. Uh, so I bought those at Target, and they're so cute. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. you. Oh, so there was a pot right here, but it was so big, I hated it. So I got rid of it. Yeah, I bet you didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, I did. I had to pick it up and put it on top. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, babe, I'm changing the fucking pot. So I took the pot down, and then I bought another one. But then it was still too big, so then I bought another one. And then that's the one that's there now. Perfect size, right? I don't know if I'm fucking with the olive tree. I might change it to a eucalyptus. So I bought- Bro, get a real tree. Get a tree that has I'm, fruits. Who's going to water it? Not you. I'll water it. No, the fuck you won't. Not you, Jacob. apparently, because look at the plants I just bought you. you. The flowers I just the bought dogs. you, they died because of you. What are you talking about? You put water, and you just leave it there for weeks. What do you want me to do? You're Get supposed it. to push. You're supposed to change the water every two days. Put sugar. Oh, hell no. What the fuck? Sugar? Yep. I didn't even know that. That's what are you why, talking about? That's why I'll never get you flowers again. I'm used to it. <laughs> Shut the <up. laughs> <laughs> oh, Nah, The Jake. So, yeah, basically, this is just a podcast of us just talking so much fucking shit. Hey, you told your mom you're about to leave to go to the Rosca at 5 o'clock and it's 5.20. I know, I know. We got to cut this I'm off. I'm FaceTiming her right now and oh telling her you're still Jacob, here. Oh my gosh, Jacob, I'm so fucking tired of you I want right to hear y'all fight. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to head out because they're waiting for me to go to the Rosca right now. And the freeways are probably like, let me check how much traffic there is. Because of the flood. So we're literally flooded right now in California. And um, north... The north of California is, like, really, really bad. So prayers out to you guys. I hope you guys are all staying safe. But um, our garage was, like, halfway flooded. It, it's just the rain was really, really bad. So, oh, there is traffic on our way. So, yeah, I got to head out. Anyways, thank you guys so, so, so much. For watching this unpro freaking Unpro freaking Professional, unprepared, unproductive unpro podcast. <laughs> Dang. I was clean on. I'm a nice. rapper. Nice. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we're going to head out. Happy. A amazing, amazing Thursday night. And if you're listening to this Friday morning, welcome, welcome Friday morning. Good morning. Get up, do shit, you know. And um, yeah. We will see you guys next Thursday. Bye.